morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and we're on location. We're actually in Walt Disney World right now. We're at the cabins at Fort Wilderness. We're staying here for 10 days, and it has been such an amazing trip. We're going home very soon. But I got a very special package delivered to my cabin, and it is my monthly Magic at Your Door box. So I thought that we could do an on-location opening of this Magic at Your Door box. Now, this is their gold box, which is $124. And I will link Magic at Your Door's information down below if you're interested in getting a box just like this. I have been sent this box for reviewing purposes, but I have been a customer of Magic at Your Door for years now. And so just recently they started sending me um, these boxes to review. So thank you to Magic at Your Door for sending this. I'm really excited to get into this because I think there's something on my wish list that is inside of this box. So on their website, when you subscribe to them, they have a wish list that has all different types of items that you can request for your box. And um, it may or may not show up in your monthly box, but it's completely catered to your preferences no matter what. So you fill out this long questionnaire about all of your favorite things that are Disney and Disney related. And then they curate an amazing box based off of your preferences. So I'm so excited to get in this box. So let's go ahead and see what magic at your door sent. So the box got pretty beat up on the way here and actually someone spilled wine on it. And that was like, that was from the post office. That was not from us. Like, I don't know what happened exactly, but pretty funny though. Um, Someone at the post office was having a good time. But today, the box is just Dude in his plain outfit. Dude is this mascot right here, and he is um, just in his plain Sorcerer Mickey costume. So usually every month they have a different theme for him, but this month he's just plain old dude. Okay, and then as we open it, we have a bunch of what I call funfettis, which are the little um, the little confetti on top. And then here we have the monthly newsletter, which is pretty typical. Um, it says save $20 on a one-time magical box, and I will link that information down below. Also, they have a retail store where you can buy different Loungefly bags, including Loungefly pre-orders, and that's jalugo.com. Again, I will link that down below. And then they have their color coding based off of park items because a lot of the park items that you get have a color code rather than an actual price. So then it lets you know how much that item is. And it says, Magic at Your Door, more than a subscription, it's an experience. We hope that you love these magical Disney surprises that were selected specifically for you. Be sure to explore every nook and cranny of your magic box, including the insides of each item, as you never know where more magic may be hiding. This is so true. Magic at Your Door is great at hiding things all over these boxes. Okay, the first item I am pulling out is this. These are the Grogu ears. How funny are these? So these are super duper plush. You guys will have to let me know down below. Are you watching The Mandalorian? I just um, started and finished it recently. Um, I never got on The Mandalorian bandwagon until this last December. And oh my gosh, you guys, it is so good. I, I've never been a Star Wars fan ever and for some reason the mandalorian i just love this show i think i think it's so interesting and so cute it's definitely one of those shows that i feel like everyone can find something that they like in like they did a really really good job at creating this uh and plus creating this show and plus i mean who doesn't love baby yoda or grogu spoiler alert his name is grogu he's adorable so we have these ears we have to try on these ears i'm wearing my my homemade peter pan ears but let's look <laughs> oh my goodness look how cute these are oh yeah these are adorable these will be perfect perfect to wear to galaxy's edge these are just too funny and they're very plush these are like one of the first 
um, Disney ears I've gotten that are really, really plush. And so these guys are $29.99 inside of the parks. Oh, those are adorable. Oh my gosh, I love those. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, I love these. Okay, these are two things that match. They are a matching set. So we have a winter hat that has little jewels on it that are Mickey and also little snowflake jewels. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. And then it's got the little Mickey pom-poms. This, oh, I wish I would have opened this earlier this week because it was 23 degrees with the wind chill here in Florida. It was so cold. And then also they have the same green style of gloves and they're the smart gloves. So you can actually use your finger and your thumb on your phone and you don't have to take off your gloves which by the way I live in Alaska so for me like that style of glove is super important because if not you're constantly taking your gloves on and off and I say that because like you usually have to like use your mouth which is kind of gross um probably not during COVID times <laughs> You used to pre uh BC, before COVID. <laughs> uh, these are beautiful. I love the hunter green. I feel like we've got a green theme going on. We've got green ears, green gloves, a green hat. Oh my gosh, wait, we've got to try this on. I think this is just so pretty. <gasps> oh my goodness. I love this. Oh my gosh, these are so cute disney please make more of these okay so um i love this this is 24 dollars 99 that's interesting it's less than a pair of ears but you would imagine that that should be more but anyway 24 dollars 99 and then the gloves with the little smart fingers love that 19 dollars 99 that's so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Every year we go to Ferrandi, which is the Alaskan celebration of the uh, ceremonial start of the Iditarod, uh, which is a dog sled race. And um, I'm always in search of like a nice hat to wear. And this is definitely going to be my outfit for Iditarod this year. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, that's so fun. What a cool item. So I did see a lot of people wearing them in the parks over this last few days because it's been so cold here. Next we have the golden pouch. So the gold pouch is something that they put little things inside of, little goodies inside of, and you'll find it in every single box. So let's see what we have. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, let me just make sure that that's all. Okay, yes, that's all we have in here. Okay, so inside the golden pouch is their fantasy pin oh i should put my ears back on so last year every month they had a fantasy pin that magic at your door created itself so this pin um, was actually created by them and every month it was a different theme for the castle and so this is December's pin because I'm opening my December box so let me do a close-up so you can see what the pin looks like so here is the December 2020 pin what's so cool about this pin is that there is a special element to it I can actually see a hinge on the side so it is a hinge pin this is a limited edition of 300 so it went out to all of their subscribers in the month of December that subscribe to gold boxes and how cool is that so on the inside it says season's greetings and then it's got a really cute Christmas tree little Mickey Mouse bobbles on it and also a Mickey tree topper oh my goodness doesn't this look like a little card that is so cool so now my castle collection for magic at your door for the year of 2020 is complete so I've gotten all of my 12 boxes with all of my fantasy pins and I actually have a little board that has all of my fantasy pins on it that's so cool thank you so much magic at your door if you guys get magic at your door I would love to know which one of those fantasy pins was your favorite I personally really really loved the Halloween because I'm a big Halloween person and they had a ghost Mickey Halloween pin that was just too cool that obviously had the castle on it, but I really, really loved it. And it was also glow in the dark, which was really cool. Okay, so 
we have so we have four items we have a fifth item and guys I saw it poking out and I had to save it the best for last this is what was on my wish list <laughs> and it's because we um we are gonna be going to Hollywood Studios and guys I just like I said before I just love the Mandalorian I'm I feel so connected to that show and isn't this gonna be so adorable to wear at Galaxy's Edge? So this is one of several Loungefly mini backpacks that they have created with Grogu on it. And I feel like this one has the most detail and is absolutely stunning. So let's take a peek a little bit closer to the bag. So something that you'll notice, his ears are painted. He's got embroidery and also applique details on his little eyes and his little hands, his little little three thingies and this is his like little pram his floating pram so that's what it's trying to emulate on the sides where it's got like the place that like actually hinges um, forward and backward with him inside of it and then guys the zipper pull is actually a frog and what I love about this is the uh, color of the metal that is on this guy is like a really nice like kind of worn brassy color which is really interesting because usually it's like either silver or gold or rose gold so I appreciate that they stuck with the theme and this is my very first Star Wars lounge fly item which I have a huge lounge fly collection so this is pretty exciting and at the very bottom there it says Star Wars lounge fly and this guy was $80 and oh my gosh is he adorable so on the inside of the bag i have to show you so the inside of all lounge fly bags have usually have really really cool lining here is the inside uh lining of what the lining looks like it's got different poses with the child it says the child it also has frogs this is just too cute so i am super happy with this and it also has it in that star wars language um in in the actual alphabet of the star wars language which i don't know what it is so if you know what it is please, please let me know down below i'm a newbie i'm a star wars newbie guys so that was my magic at your door box guys i'm gonna leave here how much um the items were worth uh versus how much the versus how much the box actually was so you can see the value that we got if you would like to get a box of your own use the promo code cherry 10 to get ten dollars off your first box let me know down below what your favorite item was or if you got your magic at your door box what your favorite item was from your magic at your door box this whole box was inc incredible. I think that for functionality, I, I mean, I obviously this is my number one because it's so cool and I've, I really, really wanted it. But this is so nice because it is so cold in Alaska and we are going to continue to have winter for at least a few more months. So I will get some really good use out of this and going to Fur Rondi too, which we put out a vlog every year of Fur Rondi. So be on the lookout for that. So awesome. I really enjoyed opening that, especially on location. Uh, it doesn't get to happen very often where we get to open a Disney subscription box on location. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe down below. A lot Lots of Disney vlogs are coming out, more unboxings, and plenty of Disney magic over here on this channel. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN! Bye!